Dambulla Dedicated Economic Center. This is one of the major economic centers in Sri Lanka, which is a major wholesale market for fruits and vegetables. To this economic center, fruits and vegetables are supplied from various parts of the country, such as Central Province, North Central and Northern Provinces, including other surrounding areas. As there are a lot of processes such as handling, transporting, loading and unloading are carried out here, the level of post-harvest losses also have been increased. According to the stakeholders, there are not much post-harvest losses occurred within these processes, but in the latter stages of the supply chain, a lot of post-harvest losses such as mechanical damages, quality losses, nutritive value losses can be observed. These are some of the responses we received from the farmers and wholesalers. According to Mr. Jayana, who is a vegetable wholesaler of this center, usage of plastic crates will reduce the post harvest losses of vegetables. But practically, this is a bit difficult because the amount of vegetables which can be packed in a gunny bag is almost twice as with the plastic tray. And also he says that only around 1 to 2 kilograms of vegetables are wasted from 50 kilograms of vegetables in a gunny bag. So when it comes to the gunny bags, it is highly profitable than using plastic trays for packing and transportation. He also added that usage of plastic trays would have been practical if the government have implemented proper methodology to supply plastic trays to farmers and circulate those plastic trays in between farmers and wholesalers. And he added that they are paying less prices for low quality vegetables with mechanical damages and so on and high prices for good quality produce. Even though they say there are no that much of issues in those cases such as post-harvest losses, but internal damages and bruises like things may seen in vegetables and fruits. Mr. Kumar, who is a bean farmer from Melsiripura, also added more similar opinions as Mr. Jainath. But he also added that with the increasing of transportation time, the post harvest losses also increases. And with respect to the amount of their harvest, plastic crates are not sufficient to transport the whole yield at once. He also added that during transportation, loading and unloading, their beans in gunny bags are wasted around 1 kilo to 2 kilos per gunny bag. And they are not happy with the quality of crates which could be easily broken during the handling and he added that they could only transport one fourth of their harvest with plastic crates at once in a lorry which is not cost effective. And he added that at times they have been frustrated due to the price that they have gained from the wholesalers due to the lack of quality in their produce due to the bruises like mechanical damages, especially in produce such as leafy vegetables. Onion curing and storage are two major important processes which are undertaken in onion cultivation for quality improvement and increasing shelf life. This onion field, which is belongs to Mr. R. Radna, is situated at Dandupendi Ruppa in Dambul area. They have cultivated this big onion in yellow season at their paddy fields. This is a field which has been already harvested. This is the method that usually used by these farmers in onion curing which is not a recommended method by Department of Agriculture. After harvesting onions, bulbs should be covered with the leaves without exposing to the sunlight. 
and keep those at least one week in the field. And this is the correct method they should practice and they are not keeping this in the field at least a day. And this has done to translocate photosynthesis to the bulbs from the leaves. As the onions are curing, their necks will gradually wither and the papery skins will tighten around the bulbs. And water supply to the field should be stopped 2 3 weeks before harvesting. When we consider about the storage facilities, this is a big onion store which is situated at Tennakon Pura, belongs to Mr. Rohana, who is a big onion farmer. This store has a capacity of 25 metric tons, and this has three separate stalls. In between two stalls, a length of three feet are maintained. This has five storied stalls. This store is 11 feet high, 18 feet wide, and 18 feet long. Length could be adjusted as we prefer. And this has a cemented floor. Normally, big onions aren't stored on cemented floors, but they are practicing it, which has led towards many post harvest losses. There are some space at rooftop for the ventilation purpose to make troughs. 2 inch wide lath by using arecanut or lunimidella wood will be used. In a trough, only 3 layers of onion bulbs will be stored. In here, onions will be stored for around 2 to 3 months. When we consider about the post harvest losses, they could be undertaken in storage conditions as well. Post harvest losses in storage could be due to the trip attacks which is undertaken in the field and spread it in the store, lack of ventilation, overloading of onions in troughs and so on. In the store, black mold diseases like diseases could easily spread if there is weather conditions and storage conditions suits. Thank you. This is a documentary done by Group 4.